Hello friends. This is Synfig tutorial on skeleton deformation, where I'll show you how to create and use skeleton deformation layer. First I'll change the canvas properties and give my current project a name and description and click OK at the end. Then I'm going to import the image I'll be using for this project. You can see the image appear in the layers panel in a switch group. Now I'm going to click the plus button and invoke the menu showing different layers, where I'll select the skeleton deformation layer from the distortions menu list. Here, I've disabled the skeleton distortion layer from the layers panel so that I can work with this layer without any background image distortion. By clicking at the skeleton distortion layer in the layers panel, I'll bring the skeleton handle at the canvas which has a green dot as the origin, a blue dot as the angle, and a brown dot as the end. I'll be creating child bones using the right click menu and selecting create child bone at the green or the brown dot. Here you must note that the child bone will transform in relation to the parent bone. Now I'm enabling with handles and using them I'm going to cover the areas which will be affected by the origin and end handles of all the bone elements. At the end I'm going to use the width handle of the first parent bone and cover the whole image. Here, after enabling the skeleton layer, back will distort the bone structure. So, with a right click on the bone layer, I'm going to reset the pose of the skeleton layer. Now disable the width handles and we are all done. All we have to do is animate the image. Wait till I complete the animation. Here's our animation. Subscribe for more videos.